Now, in continuation of our previous uh, video where we took full image backup of database and restored it, now let's make few changes to the database and then take an incremental backup of it. Show tables is to fill the tables and With incremental backup, what happens is we only backup all the changes made to the database since the last backup. When I say last backup, the last backup could be a full backup of the database or it could even be a incremental backup of the database. So with this incremental backup, we have two benefits. One is the amount of time that it requires to perform the backup will be decreased. And also the disk space usage required for the backup will be decreased. Now let's make few changes to these two tables and take an incremental backup. We already have five records for our T1. Let me insert three more records to my T1. Six, seven, eight were newly inserted rows in T1 and uh, four, five, six were the newly inserted rows in T2. Let's take an incremental backup. And uh, to take the incremental backup, now we use this uh, flag or the option in the MySQL backup utility, uh, incremental. And to specify from which point or from which LSM value it is supposed to take the incremental backup, we have three options. Either you explicitly specify the start LSM so that the pages or the files that got modified from that LSM value will be backed up. Uh, or the other two options is one of the option is to make use of the history table so that it reads the database, understands the ending point of the previous backup and then starts the incremental backup from that ending point. Or uh, you specify the location of the previous backup so that it reads the previous backup metadata file, metadata directories file, and it understands the end LSM and it starts to backup the pages or files modified from that particular LSM. Now we are going to use that particular option. So uh, the reason uh, to choose that is. Uh, uh, as we have just uh, took a backup uh, uh, in the previous video and restored it, uh, the history table uh, will not have the date of the full backup. So that is the reason we made we are making use of this particular command. Let's run this. Again, my SQL backup user, and then I will specify the password. Incremental is to uh, take the incremental backup and. Uh, this uh, is the director of my full backup. So it goes and reads uh, this full backups metadata directory and understands the ending LSN of that uh, backup and starts taking the incremental backup from that particular end LSN. And uh, I want the image incremental image to be uh, written as backup image incremental uh, underscore image dot BA. And uh, the files, whatever that gets generated as part of this backup incremental image will be written and the metadata and all other files will be written into this particular location. Let's run this. So if I see this, a start lesson is one eight six seven seven nine zero one. Let me copy it into a notepad. Okay. And backup iPhone temp. This is my full backup. Let me go into the meta and 
here from the log right okay this is the full backup and it the end lesson for that backup is if you see uh, the end lesson of this full backup is full image backup is 18677901 and when we ran the incremental backup we gave the reference of the full image backup metadata directory so that it can read and understand the end lesson of the full backup and can take the incremental backup from that particular and you can see that uh, it started from 18677901 and this is the reason why we specified the directory in this here incremental base also the details of the backup can be seen from the mysql backup history tables and also one more location is to see the uh, backup metadata so let us connect to the database and let me run this query now we are just getting the start lesson and end lesson of the backup uh, from this table mysql backup history where backup format is image and backup type is incremental we just took uh, incremental image uh, backup and we know the start and lesson and lesson of those uh, this is a full image backup and this is the incremental here we see 18677901 and uh, ending with uh, 0807 so we can get the start lsn end lsn and start uh, time and time from this uh, backup history table and one more location would be uh, in the metadata directory we supplied uh, this uh, incremental image directory for performing the uh, incremental image backup and if you go into the meta location we can see this uh, backup variables Uh, we can see uh, 18677901 yeah here is the start lsn and the end lsn is ending with uh, 007 so these are the locations where we can get the metadata of the backup okay now let's create a situation where uh, we make the database unavailable uh, by renaming the data directory my data directory is in where lib mysql is my data directory uh, let me rename it to mv mysql mysql iphone 92 so i just renamed it now we cannot connect it local connections can't make it even the remote connections won't be able to access the instance it can't access the socket file which is there in the mysql data directory and now let us uh, safely stop this uh, mysql D service let's try to restore the full backup once the full backup is restored uh, we will apply the incremental backup on top of it so that uh, the database is restored to the time where we took the incremental backup command to restore the full backup full image backup restore command okay now if you see i'm restoring using mysql backup this is the utility and uh, invoking it as user mysql backup and this is my full backup image uh, and uh, i'm making use of an already existing directory since we are making use of an existing directory it should throw an error and copy back and apply log is the restore command and apply the latest changes now should throw an error for this okay it's unexpected because it expects the directory to be empty the directory where it uh, writes the files as part of the backup operation or as part of the restore operation so let's do one thing let's rename this to back store temp full image 
restore and incremental on top of this full image backup restore we will apply the incremental backup also so this should run now okay now it is restoring the database it has restored the full uh, backup of the database now let's try to apply the incremental backup on top of it for that the command is this one okay now our incremental we need to set the name of our incremental image cd backup cd incr okay this is my incremental image incr image directory okay, that matches it and backup directory and I want that to be restored to restore INCR that is not an empty directory I guess okay that's an empty directory data directory yeah and this is the flag where we are saying need to apply the incremental backup uh, copy back and apply the logs the actual restore command to restore and update, apply the logs copy now it has even re, uh, restored the incremental backup also so let's go to the data directory rename it to be owned by uh, mysql user and mysql group which one enter mysql directory go to the mysql directory and uh, rename this uh, backup auto and rename it as auto.cnf okay now let's try to start the mysql okay it is started fine let me try to connect to the mysql instance mysql. Let's start from T1. Okay, now you can see uh, the three records that we added as part as part of uh, you know the incremental. Just before making the incremental backup, we added three records six, seven, eight. They are they are back, and also select star from T2. And four, five, six are also back. The records on T2 table. 654 they are also back so that means it uh, we have successfully restored the full backup and on top of the full backup we successfully applied the incremental backups that completes this video thank you